I'm Corey. I'm Chris. And we're pickers in the Pacific Northwest. So come rainy day picking with us. So today we have our very first week of picking haul and we went to four thrift stores and so we'll go ahead and go over all the awesome treasures that we got. So the first thing, the very first thing that I picked up when I was at our local Goodwill in Everett is a Fenton glass bear. He is a birthstone bear and so he has the Topaz November birthday heart. He has a little signature on the back and I was super proud of myself when I found him. He was the first thing. He was going for $9.99 at the thrift store. Fun fact, fun fact on that, both are birthstone. Yeah, <laughs> it was meant to be. Uh, the second thing that I picked up was a Murano goldfish in a bag. It has one goldfish, and there are some out there that have the two goldfishes. The thing that really made this an amazing find for me was the bow that's on here. Most of the bows that I do see online with these goldfish in a bags are a little droopy, a little saggy, um, but this bow is perfect. It does have one small little buffable scratch on the front. I paid uh, $5.49 for this one. So really, really happy about that. It's super cute. It really does look like a goldfish in a bag. So the third thing that I got at that thrift store was this beautiful glass bowl, if you will. Uh, so it is made in Romania. It's a uh, crystal clear and normally it does come with a stand. They do sell pretty well on eBay without the stand as well. So I also paid $5.49 for this one. It has that gold rim. It's really beautiful. And then the last thing that I picked up at that <coughs> thrift store was this blanket here. Rainbow zigzag handmade blanket. And it's the colors just super vibrant. It's really pretty. It's more of a uh, like a throw blanket size. I can't remember the exact dimensions. We'll go ahead and put that down here. Since it's handmade, uh, we've ended up paying $7.99 for that. Uh, but since it's handmade, the Afghans can go for you know upwards of $50 or more. So we're really excited about that find. It was beautiful, super soft. So the second thrift store that we went to was in Linwood, Washington. We went to two in Linwood, and the first one was called Bella's Voice. The awesome thing about Bella's Voice is that all of the proceeds go to caring for animals. So they donate to like over 19 charities that all have to do with animals. Uh, if you go to their website, you can see all the great work that they do, and the, this thrift store helps fund that. So the three things, yeah. Three things that we got there were the super cute little temptations by Tara. I believe this was called the old world style. They're salt and pepper shakers. They're in amazing condition. They were in a bag. We happened to be there on a pink tag sale day. So all the pink tags were 50% off. So this, these two little guys were $2.99 originally. And so about $1.50 for the pair of them. They uh, go pretty well on eBay. So we were super excited about those. We have also found again, another pink tag, this Mikasa cake plate. And I believe it was Dusty Rose. Bella Rose. Bella Rose. Bella Rose. Yes. So they have two of the um, styles with these roses with Mikasa. And it actually just sold today. So we'll put all the um, details up on your screen there for you. And so it cannot be purchased anymore. But this is one of those pieces that I absolutely loved. I wish I had roses um, as my decor because um, I would have kept it. So beautiful. How we much was that? Uh, we could, it was originally marked for $7.99, so with the 50% off, probably about $4. So a great find. We really loved that store. They had um, some really nice toys. We got a few things for our children as well. Chris, uh, the last thing that we got at that store is going to be your backgammon set. Yeah. So this is a tournament style backgammon set, a uh, leather style casing. It's from a Pressman. Uh, what I saw it was dated 1980. Uh, has a little tarnished on the buuckles here. But it inside, is 40 years old, yeah. so I guess that's to be expected a that's little bit. That's <laughs> vintage to me. <clears throat> uh, inside it's really nice. Doesn't may look, maybe it's been used once, even if that. And there's no wear tear inside. Everything looks great. 
You has instructions. Well, yeah, that was pretty cool. I ended up picking that up for two fifty. Yeah. Uh, I've seen comps on that for around twenty five to hundred dollars. So the third thrift store that we went to was the Linwood Goodwill, and we found only one thing there. Um, we got a couple other things for ourselves, but for, for picking, the only treasure that we found would have been these, this bag right here. And it was a few Thai Beanie Babies in the bags from McDonald's. Um, the ones that we found that had no value, we did give those to our children. So they loved that. They got a little prize as well. And of course, when you know when you go to the Goodwills and stuff, they have the all in the bag, so it's hard to tell what's inside sometimes. Um, I took a gamble on it, didn't know what was inside. Uh, had three Beanie Babies, teeny Beanie Babies, there's a difference. Mm. So these are the smaller ones from McDonald's. Uh, it came with Spunky the Cocker Spaniel. Uh, there's a regular version on that that's going for 800 with an air, so that's kind of what I thought it was. It was it was $7, so I had to try. Uh, Got number five, Pincher, the Lobster, and number seven, Mel, the Koala Bear. And those all came in the bag. So the fourth and last thrift store that we went to was the Marysville Goodwill, and that is in a town north of us. So we got these two beautiful pieces there. So this first one was $5.49, and it is an ashtray, believe it or not. It's definitely hand-blown. We believe it's Murano styled. We don't think that it's actually a Murano. Um, you can see the little waffle on the bottom, so we know it's hand-blown. Um, Chris likes to call it a splash. It's like a hard splash. <laughs> yeah, it could be a wave as well, but um, I like how the cigarette holder parts kind of mesh into the splash so that you could use this as a candy dish or something. It didn't have any cigarette or smoke residue in it, so I felt that that was doesn't, probably not ever used as it was intended as an ashtray. It doesn't look like it's used at all. Like, no, it's This is my really favorite so color. far. Yeah, yeah. It's very art artistic, very uh, modern to me. Yeah, and it photographed amazing. Yeah. We'll put up the photo um, to show you, but it definitely it photographed awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, favorite piece. So the second thing that we got at our last thrift store in Marysville was a Fenton Hobnail Bell. It is blue and it, it's a light blue color and it has the opalescent. The bell is still intact. I believe that um, this is the original bell that came with it. No chips or nicks or anything like that. It is so beautiful. It's clean. Mm-hmm. I cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this will be up on our eBay. Uh, head over there, check out any of the items that you like. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment. If we've gotten any of these wrong, if this is actually Murano, if I'm saying Mikasa wrong, please let me know <laughs> down in the comments. Yeah, it was a great day of picking. We found a lot of cool treasures and we're happy to share it with you guys and what knowledge we know and we've learned. And we look forward to more. Yeah, come back for our next haul video. Bye.